So Vegito Blues EZA is out right now on JP with this newest update on Dokkan Battle. I will be live at twitch.tv forward slash jfanda. Link in the description is where you can always find it right now. We're going to get him to EZA status and uh, do the um, ultimate clash on the global side for the 7th year anniversary. So make sure you drop by. Make sure you follow me. All that good stuff. But this is his um, original details if you guys forgot what he does. And we do have the translations of what he does once he EZAs. And I'll tell you guys how to EZA him as well. So here's these EZA details. You let me know what you guys think, and I'll tell you guys what I think right at the end of this little segment here. Super class leader for four key HP attack and defense plus 120%. He gets an attack and defense plus 100% at the start of the battle gain key, depending on HP. Less HP, more key, up to 10. Medium chance of key plus five. Perform an additional attack that has the medium chance of becoming a super attack after performing an ultra super attack. Gain an additional two key and disables enemy's guard if there is another future saga category ally attacking in the same turn. 12 key is infinitely raise attack and defense and lowers the enemy's attack. 18 key is greatly raise attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. Honestly, my thoughts on this is it's pretty mid. It is honestly not the upgrade I was looking for. Um, first of all, only getting 20% extra attack and defense on the easy eight is kind of whack. He's getting so much key now, like medium chance of key plus five. Um, they really want you to do the 18 key and there's like going to be really, really hard now to get the uh, 12 key super, especially, especially when your HP is like at least like 70% and it's going to be almost impossible uh, depending on your linking partners. The additional attack is cool, medium chance, but locking it behind an ultra super attack is kind of lame to be honest. Should have been just like guaranteed. Now with this scenario, you can go for the 18 key and get two additional super attacks with the um, hidden potential system. Or you go for the 12 key and get an additional super attack. And obviously doing that 12 key scenario isn't any different to what he was before. Uh, it pretty much gives you the problem of now you are... Because he's going to do a lot of damage. Like, let's not get that twisted. SA25, greatly raise attack and defense for the one turn. He's going to do a lot of damage. But um, specific red zones where you need to like maybe stack a little bit. Uh, infinite Dragon Ball history events or LGEs, LVEs. Where you want to stack a little bit because he's not going to be that defensively different. I'm going to have to break it to you. Um, because 20% attack and defense. And because easy A's for LRs don't change their any stats. Ah, man. He's just going to get that slight little boost. It might make him stack a little bit faster at the end of the day. But still, you want to just like get him set up as soon as possible. Especially with these hard events these days. Where they get harder like way more earlier than it used to be. So, I'd, I... It's other than the leader skill, most of it isn't really game changing. It might help a little bit, but again, it could have been so much better than this. <laughs> I it, honestly, if it, the medium chance of key plus five was switched to like when doing a super attack plus fifty percent attack at defense, pff, it, I, that'd be good enough, bro. I honestly think of that. You think about it, that's probably good enough for him. Um, yeah, I would have taken that, but key plus five was really, really redundant. Anyway, that is um, the Judo Blue. Let me know what you th guys think in the comment section down below. Now, um, we do have the uh, new stage, new area for the main quest. I, I think there's only one area. This is the only image I could find. It was only three stages, so it's an extra nine dragon zones, and I think the missions, whatever, um, for completing all of them, uh, you get an extra bit. But this, this is all. I, I have not tested any of these stages, whether or not they're link level um, good or not. So let, if you know... If any of them are good, link it, um, comment down below, help the community out. But that's pretty much it there. I have no idea who the bosses are. Um, the link level rates, I don't even know what their previous ones are, but I'd assume they're not any different since I haven't seen anything from them on Twitter. Now, we do have the EZA details for the Mai, Trunks, and the uh, Rose and Zamasu. Now, I want to talk about their card really quickly. I think they did a great job on their EZAs. I love Zamasu and Rose having guard to help build, easily build up that little passive of theirs. The six turn uh, raise defense is awesome. They're really, really strong, and they have good link sets to link up with um, the current units that are out right now. Uh, the Trunks is really great if you have a full Time Travelers team. So uh, it's still like a stunning unit. So I don't think it will help. It, it, well, within a full Time Travelers team, they'll have a decent amount of defense. But um, I still think they're like a super battery unit. It's still decent though. It's really, very, very decent. 
Um, anyway, the uh, weakness for the uh, Trunks' EZ8 will be Global Chaos, so that is the tech androids leader. I think there is a few LRs. There's like the Physical Boo um, and Barbity, and then there's DKP. I don't remember what else LRs there are. Let's double check. Oh, and Cell. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, no AGL units. Uh, that's a bummer. But... Um, but yeah, you remember you need to have legendary power activated to do damage. Rose and Master is going to probably do a lot. I hope it's easy. It might be doable. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it, for me? All right. So that is the um, um trunks and my EZA. Of course, there's ten stages. Now onto the Rose and Master. It is fate induced battle, which is battle of fate, I think, in the English terms. And of course, same deal here, uh, 10, 10 stages, they are tech. Luckily, there is a few more LRs to use, <laughs> and you got the new LRs, so that's good. That's probably what I'm going to run, uh, great leader skill. And then we can run Vegito Blue as well. Uh, okay, this one seems more doable. This definitely seems more doable than the uh, my and Trunks one, for me personally, as a free-to-play player. Now, going back to the quest mode, you will need to farm these blue gems in order to EZA Vegito Blue. So, um, it's 15 per medal. It looks like you can only get 10. Is that only the first step available today? Oh, no. I thought it was the full thing today. Uh, we'll see. Maybe if you scroll down, it costs more. Um, but this is the only screenshot I got. And then we do have the uh, exclusive skill orbs for Vegito. That's cool. Um, you're able to get like level fives on the silvers, which helps them a lot. And then the defense and then the golds looks like double level fives, which is insane. And then um, this is the quest layout uh, where stage three super difficulty is going to be where you farm the orbs and um, the gems as well, which is cool. So yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Remember, live at twitch.tv forward slash jfans. We're doing some things over there. Um, playing Dokken Battle. Uh, might be a long live stream as well. Who, who knows? And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.